Mike Zero Foxtrot X-Ray Bravo, welcome to my channel. So I have so many people message me about these two radios. So on the left you've got the ICOM ID 52 D-Star VHF UHF radio with DPRS GPS SD card Bluetooth. On the right hand side you've got the Yaesu FT5D which has full APRS, Bluetooth, VHF, UHF and it's a C4 FM radio by Yaesu. So they are diff the digital is different but they both work excellent. At the moment this one is linked to my hotspot and this radio is just in VFO mode. Now they, they both can dual receive. Now the D-Star radio will actually dual receive digital. The FT5 will dual receive digital, but you can't hear both at the same time, but you can see the information. The sort of interface of the radios is different, like on the D-Star, look if I go menu, you have a grid, you also can send photographs. Both radios will send photographs. Both radios have a scope. The scope I would say is better on the 52, it's got more basic on the FT5. There is that kind of scope. You can change how many lines you can see, uh, but it's not as as good as the as the D star. But it's still completely usable. Now the fifty two has DPRS, so it's not APRS. Although you will show up on APRS FI, it's DPRS. The FT five is full APRS, and it works so well. Let's go back. So we can come out, and then you can have single screen if you want. A single screen we're in DR mode at the moment we can come out of that VFO to come out of the scope two times hold down DR and now you're in a normal radio and you can have dual receive and you can use memory or VFO on A and B so it's very hard choice which one to choose I mean I think pound for pound I think the FT5 and the battery on the FT5 does fit on the FT2 and the one I think as well and ft3 so that's been clever and the same goes for the 51 52 and the 705 they all use the same battery pound for pound i would say that the ft5 i think is better value it's a smaller radio easier to sort of carry around the 52 is is just, it is an amazing radio you know highly recommend both these radios but it's more of a beast you really know you've got that and you, it's not so much slip it in your pocket um, I highly recommend you get yourself a, a leather case for uh, for both these radios, but I've definitely got one for my my Icon 52. They both have GPS, they both have SD cards, you can program them online. There's free software available for both radios. They both have, I'm pretty sure the buttons light up on the on both radios, but look how bright they are on the on the ft5 so that's it really i thought i'd just give you a quick overview of these two radios side by side and if someone says which one do you prefer well i like them both if, if you know if you're into d star then get the d star radio if you're into ysf get the ysf but most of us are into everything and i just think get the radios you're going to enjoy um you don't have to buy them all in one year buy them spread it out buy them over a few years but eventually just get the radios you enjoy that that is what i think and it's not buying it's not shopping it's not buying um you know you're not paying your electric bill where you're trying to keep the cost low, low. you're buying an item to enjoy just like going on holiday it's the same thing you go on holiday to enjoy it you buy radios to enjoy them and, and pure luck that they hold their value by 60 70 percent most of the time anyway if you look after them so bye for now thanks for watching my channel uh, excellent radios here Got the uh, Aliens HD1 in the background and the excellent Zygu G90 here. All fantastic radios. Bye for now. 7-3. All the best.